The number one team in the country is in action, Carter. It's the Purdue Boilermakers, if you haven't heard. AP poll, number one. They're taking on Texas Southern. They are back at Mackey Arena, back home, following a successful trip to Maui, where uh, they won the greatest regular season tournament in NCAA basketball history. Impressive stuff from the Boilers. All things are turning up black and gold right now. Any reason to be concerned of a trap game at home against Texas Southern, Ken Palm's 244th best team in the country? Absolutely not. <laughs> just absolutely not. I'm just hoping that for some reason we can get the same thing we had when uh, Sanford came into Mackey. But Sanford was probably a lot higher, right? Wasn't like Sanford like two like fringe two hundreds, or am I making that up? Uh Sanford was one forty four. Oh, were they? Wow, full, a full one hundred spots higher on Ken Palm than Texas Southern. Damn, I had no clue they were one forty four. Okay, so obviously the spread won't be even close to what it was against Sanford, but. Regardless, Texas Southern is a team that Purdue should feast on. Uh, and, I mean, you know, they'll, they'll win this easily. It's a game you just want to win easily, uh, not have any, you know, any injuries or anything like that. Um, I will point to one thing that I am looking to see. I would like to see Fletcher Lawyer put together his third straight game. You know, you know, you know I'm big on guys doing things in threes. Yeah, like make it a habit. Make it a habit. Yeah, you like the numbers threes, that's for sure. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I I'd, I'd like to see that too. I don't have like sorry Purdue fans that are coming here to watch like a detailed in depth breakdown of this. I don't have much X's and O's wise. I want to see like y'all have already showed everything, right? Yeah. Like I I don't want to see anything <laughs> different. I just want you to see y'all be you. As much as we want to dive into this, uh, we 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 consider ourselves straight shooters and straightforward. You're playing Texas Southern, my, my babies, all right? They're 0-6. They're 244th in the country. Hey, I want to talk yeah. about that, though. I want to talk about that because they're 0-6, but it's not your normal 0-6. Is that fair to say? I mean, yeah, I mean they, they, they do. I mean, obviously, they play the same Texas Southern schedule they do every year. They will take the money to go play any team anywhere at any time. Yeah, I mean, you look back through the last three, four years, like this is a program that's playing great teams night in and night out. And do they win these games? Sometimes. Like, it's <laughs> it's not a complete zero. They beat Arizona State last year. Uh, you go back further, they beat Florida the year before that. Like, this team isn't totally out that's of games. Great, like great. But in but in those years, they had guys. They, they, they would have one guy. They'd have one guy who had – played at a very high level and somehow ended up at Texas Southern. If I'm not mistaken, they don't have one of those guys this year. Is this a little uh, disrespect to the Texas Southern team? Is that what we're doing right now? I'll be, you know, I, I, I pride myself in knowing like the one guy in Texas Southern that has, a, you know, that was a, was a down transfer and was very successful, but I'm pretty sure the only person of note on Texas Southern team is Shaquille O'Neal's youngest son, Shakir. And I don't even know if he plays that much. He doesn't play much. Uh, they have one player in double figures. It's PJ Henry. He scores 13 a game. That's it. Uh, he's only shooting 30% from the floor, though. Yeah, there's like, make no mistake about it. This is a really bad offense. That's what I would say. I don't think this is a bad basketball team. By Purdue standards, obviously it is. But this is not a cupcake. Like, there are over 100 teams in college basketball that are worse than Texas Southern. And to be completely honest with you, Cart, I know we've been a lot of Purdue propaganda lately. One of the things I think they deserve a ton of credit for is this is an insanely tough schedule. Like, Texas Southern is the second easiest game on their schedule this season. And there are a lot of other teams in the Big Ten that have a lot of games on their schedule against teams that are way worse than Texas Southern. So, like, I, I know they just came home from Maui. They won Maui. They still have some massive games coming up. Like, we're about to see Purdue play Alabama and Arizona in a seven-day span. That's insane. Mm -hmm. That's two more top ten teams. But even, like, they don't get, like, this is their, like, day off rest game. And it's a team in the 200s on Kempom, like, that, plays a bunch of good teams that two two four two forties. I think they'll at least be up for the challenge, right? Uh no, the, no can, I, this team, can I say this? This, team's, this team stinks, man. They stink. They, they got a good defense. What is it like 130th? 
133rd. All right, well, come on, man. Like, what, what are we doing here? It's good defense. Okay, yeah, they, uh, I will say this. <clears throat> I actually I actually like Drake's basketball team, you know, with Tucker DeVries and them. They lost by they lost by six in that game. That's a respectable yeah. loss what, by them. What'd they do the game before that? They lost by two to Oral Roberts, who's terrible. Not that bad. Oral Roberts is terrible. Can I get a Ken Palm look up on Oral Roberts for you while I look at the rest of the schedule? If Oral Roberts was coming to play Purdue, we would talk about it like they got to take this team serious. They lost to Arizona State. Who did? Texas Southern. Yeah, yep. By 11. I mean, New Mexico, love my Lobos. Lost to them by 40. Scored a, what scored, a, just did. scored a whopping 33 points against Virginia. They might not, they might score 33 again against Purdue. Listen, the offense is horrible. Arguably, I would I would hear an argument this is the worst offensive team in the country. The defense is pretty solid, is all I'm trying to tell you. Like, I think this will be a team that shows up with a plan to contain Zach Eady. Oh, this recap's gonna be fun. Uh, Purdue is going to win this basketball game 82 to 82 to 49. Final chance for me to try and talk you into something of concern for this. I mean, let's, I I can't let you do this. No, no, I can't let you do this because I know Purdue fans are going to try to talk me into like why this isn't just some cupcake or okay win. Like I had to hear them. Talk to me like Samford is an at-large tourney threat. Samford's only been rising in Kempom ever since they played that game. You thought they were 150 Um, spots lower on Kempom than they are. Listen, this is my final narrative twist on this. The final one I'm going to throw at you. And you got to be honest with me on this. This game does have the complete look and feel to it of a one versus 16 game. Like historically – 16 seeds that have to open up against the number one overall team in the NCAA tournament are usually ranked around what Texas Southern is ranked this year. If this game was being played March 18th and there was a one next to Purdue's name and a 16 next to Texas Southern's name, how much more concerned about this game would you be than you are right now, which is not concerned at all, shrugging it off, predicting a 45 point victory. Would not be concerned whatsoever. This team is bad. Wasn't Fairly Dickinson bad? That was a historic absolute. I, I still can't explain that game and what happened. But isn't the point, like, you saw the list I put last put together last week. Like, Purdue struggles against the bad teams, not the good teams. Still not enough for you. Still not wet in your I, I I mean, I just, I, I don't know. I don't want to get there with this. This team, this team stinks. All right. Uh, same thing we did with Michigan State. Give me three things you want to see from Purdue. You already said you want to see Fletcher. Give me give me two others. I want to see Lance Jones shoot at least 40% from three. I want to see Fletcher Lawyer put together a good game. I'll let people put together their own stat line for that. I'd like to see three straight games from Fletcher Lawyer. And you know what? I will say this about Texas Southern. I'm looking at some of these guards. I actually do recognize some of these names. Deion Stroud is actually a guy, I think, believe he's from Fresno State. They do have some athletic guards, I would say. So I'd like to see Purdue just handle that, which I think they managed to do in the games they played so far. Like I would, I constitute Tennessee's guards as athletic, at least if I'm talking about like Ganey and them. Uh, but I'd like to see them handle pressure in this game. That's it. Okay. All right. Uh, can I give you three that I'm looking for? Yes. I want to see real Miles Colvin minutes. I want to see real Camden Heidi minutes. And I want to see real Lance Jones minutes. Obviously, he is playing real minutes. But I want to see those three guys each play real minutes. And then I want to have a conversation about who's good and who's not in those minutes. There's one guy in that three who is where they should, uh, yeah, I, yeah, it's a good, that's a that's a good one to ask for, yeah. And I I do think, for the record, I do think Lance Jones will look the best of the three, but I want to see the other two. I think he'd be second best of the three. Who would be best? I think Miles Colvin. Okay, I yeah, this could be a game where like Colvin has like a random eighteen point breakout, right? 
you feel really good it's, about it's a trick it's kind of weird when you think about it i know we don't want to go off into this tangent but like lance jones you know good defender he'll be in your hip pocket he'll be in a stance like that's that's kind of what his calling card is and he's he can lift weights um miles colvin explosive athletic shooting better than lance jones for three maybe doesn't have the defensive things isn't Camden Heidi just like a perfect mixture of the two of those guys somewhat on paper? Yeah. But no, hey, we can't. Yeah. It's on paper. It's okay. Lance Jones is our guy. Hey, year three Camden Heidi is going to be a movie. That's what they tell me at Indiana. But there were some people. That's crazy. Stop that. There were some people who, uh, like, I know I'm on really good terms with Boiler Nation right now. Shout out to Boiler Nation. Shout out to Boilers in the Stands, Joe Jackson. I think all those guys have helped us a good amount. They do a lot of promoting of our stuff, and it's it's really much appreciated. They do great work as well. But um, I think we're on pretty good terms with Boiler Nation right now, which is great. It reminds me of our early engagements with Illinois fans. And then, obviously, that came crashing down at a certain point. I'm a little afraid there's going to be a moment where this just crashes, where, like, Purdue stops playing so well, and we have to talk about it, and people get real upset with us. But for now, Purdue fans love us. The Boilerball account is using my voice in the first five seconds of their their hype reel from the Maui Invitational. Uh, Things are good. That feels great. A little scared of what's going to happen later. But while things are going great, Cart, if you don't mind indulging me to wrap the segment with this, I'd like to sprinkle a little more Purdue positivity propaganda to have the people in my pocket, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. Purdue plays 10 players. They've had 10 players play real minutes this season. Uh, Do you want to guess those 10 real quick, or do you already have them in your head? Do you want me to rattle off some names? I mean, I know what 10 are the ones that play. Edie Smith, Jones, Lawyer, Kaufman, Wren, Gillis, First, Heidi, Colvin, Morton. Those are the 10. Uh, nine of those 10 players, everyone that's not Zach Eady on Purdue, basically everybody else, nine players are all shooting better than Tyson Walker from three this season. Mm -hmm. They have nine different players that would be the second best shooter from three on Michigan state's roster this season. And the MO on Purdue is they might not be able to shoot. Is that, is that the MO? It was the MO. Right now, it's not because okay. everybody's making shots. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Fletcher and Braden are making shots. Fletcher's not even making shots. He's just still better than Tyson Walker at making shots. He's shooting 32%. He's one of the worst on the team right now. And different level of shots, but yeah. You know who's last on those nine right now? Who's last out of those, last out of those guys? Yeah. Why do I feel like someone I don't know? It's not Braden, is it? Lance Jones. Is it I, Lance Jones? I thought that'd be a softball for you. He's only shooting 31%, which again is ahead of Tyson Walker this year. But uh there you have out it. Out of those out of out of those nine guys, they're you know, out of outside of Edie, of course, there's one guy that you would take over Tyson Walker. I wouldn't take anybody outside of Edie over Tyson Walker. Tyson's that's what I, I, oh, no, that's what that's what I'm saying. But yeah. I was gonna give the benefit of the doubt for those who wanted to pick Braden. I would I would hear an argument. I would hear one. See, I think I think Purdue fans are educated enough that they would even admit Tyson Walker. You know what? I take that back. They would not admit that Tyson Walker is better than Braden Smith. I I truly think they would take Ty. I truly think they would take Lance Jones over Tyson Walker. I, I'm not kidding. That's I think crazy. they would. They would they not would. do that. They would not do they that. Would. They are smart basketball ask? fans. They would not. Can do we that. ask? Can we ask some sleepers, please? Yeah, sure. Anybody watching this, let us know in the comments who you would take: Tyson Walker, or Lance Jones. You would obviously take Tyson Walker because you're a smart basketball fan if you're a purdue uh, fan please answer below by the way just i know i just did this but numbers ethan morton 67 percent from three miles colvin 64 percent from three cam heidi 60 percent from three caleb first 40 percent from three mason gillis 40 percent from three the hell is that Braden smith 50 percent from three that's crazy hey, hold on gregory just give me please get please you know what? We I think it's time to wrap the segment. Uh, no, 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 no. We're not wrapping because I need I need three more minutes, if you don't mind. Just what please. do we need three more minutes for? It I takes just need that three. long to count the attempts? No, I just need three more. It might what? not be three more, but three is the max that I need. That's why it. Does, why does it take that long to count the attempts from these players? Because my internet's not that great. Do you want me to do it for you? <laughs> yeah, if you could. I'd like to wrap the segment if it's all right. Let's move on. 
How many attempts does Mason Gillis have? <laughs> How many attempts does Ethan Morton have? Let me click in and find. Mason Gillis has uh, 10 attempts on the season. Okay. Can I get Ethan Morton, too, just for you know, shits and giggles? I can give you Ethan Morton's attempts. Ethan Morton has three attempts on the season. He's two for three, though. Yeah. Boiler Nation, you guys have the best team in the country right now. It is unequivocally clear you are the number one team in the country. You have something special. The Purdue era, everything we said in the last video. When it's not going so well and you're wondering what's going on, just know I'm going to be there. I'll, I'll see you there. I might not see you at all, but if it happens, I'm going to be there. Word to Gus Johnson. I don't know what to make of that. I have no idea what it means, but uh, good luck, Boilers. We hope you win by 60 points, and we'll be here to recap it as we are all the big games this college basketball season. Go to the Sleepers Media YouTube channel. Click subscribe for us. We need to get some more Purdue fans in the Discord, by the way. That's the number one way to support us. We got a good Purdue contingent over there right now, but uh, it's $9.99 a month. We would greatly appreciate you being a part of the paid community here, supporting the show, making sure we can keep the lights on and doing this. Every single day, five days a week, all college basketball season. For Cart, I'm Greg. Boiler up.